Yo, 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 guys, what is up? It is Jurocraft, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. The idea is that today we are going to be building the perfect survival home. Yes, I've always wanted to build the perfect small survival house for all your survival needs, but I always tend to fail and build something way too big. So today we're going to go and try and build something relatively small and try and have all the necessities you need to start off in your survival world. And by the way, we are on the default texture pack, just just, just for those fans of the default texture pack. So I, one thing we do need in a house is a corridor, a main entrance. So we're gonna keep this nice and small, as I said. So let's go for this. Very, very, very small entrance. Now we have an entrance to, we need an enchanting room. Obviously, we need an enchanting room. So how much space do we need for an enchanting room? Well, we do want a maxed out kind of enchanting room. So obviously we're gonna fill up this entire room with bookshelf. And that is going to be the perfect spot for the enchanting table. We're also going to need to have to cover all this up because this is the exterior of the house. Um, obviously we're not gonna have bookshelf on the outside. So we'll just have to kind of work with this as best as we can. Now I've actually figured out, damn there's a lot of slimes, <laughs> I've actually figured out a very good idea because we could even have a staircase right here, right up against the bookshelf. So this could be the access up into the second floor. As well, again I'm going to keep this as small as possible, so I'll just have a bedroom on the second floor. That is the idea. So what else do we need in a survival house? We need a kitchen, a place to cook your food and basically smelt all those lovely iron bars. So we're gonna have the kitchen on this side of the house. Um, let's make it three blocks wide. This is already going to become a massive house, I told you. I told you so, I cannot keep anything small in Minecraft. Everything has to be humongous. So there we go, this is going to be the smelting room. We can close it off from here. Let's actually grab some cobblestone and you know what, let's add an outline to the exterior actually of the house. So let's have an exterior. Now we also do need a back garden, so um, I guess we'll get around to doing that in a second. I know the perfect place to put it really. I think we're gonna have it on this side of the house because it's going to be next to the cooking area. Because I mean, if you're gonna be, you know, harvesting potatoes and carrots and things, you're going to need to have it kind of close to the kitchen, right? I mean, that's, that makes perfect sense. But again, I'm going to keep things small. So, a small back garden. I mean, if we do extend the building this way, then... Where are you going? Where are you going? Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. This is my house. Stop it. Stop it. Shoot. Go away. Thank you. Right, we continue our let's buildy buildy. What are you doing? I said go away. I think we're gonna go... Jesus. They don't leave me alone. They don't let me build, do you? Bobby, I told you to get away from there. Get out. Get out. Damn it. Ah, Venga, fuera. Tira la quija, me cachin la madre. You destroy my house. You know what? Let's spice things up a bit. Let's go for cobblestone stairs instead, because that's going to look a lot nicer. Just give it, give it a bit of extra detail, and I'm not too sure how I'll go about placing the windows, but... I like to experiment, and this is going to be experimenting on a full scale. So we're going to have some oakwood stairs, you know, just come along the top of this. Um, I'm not too sure about windows just yet. I might just even have windows only on the second floor. Who knows? I think the spruce wood door will look a lot nicer. In fact, I'm actually going to change the oakwood for spruce wood just because I actually prefer the look of spruce wood. In fact, our last building, I think, had oak woods, so I might just spice things up a bit and change it to, to, to spruce wood. Right, perfect. Now, seeing as we can't actually place a door there, it might look a bit awkward. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have the entrance to the garden on a separate wall right here. So we'll have another spruce wood door right here that will leave us access to the back garden. And I'll just extend this with some fence. So again, the staircase can go somewhere over here. You know what? I'm going to construct, I'm going to do something special. I'm going to go for something different. I'm going to make the second floor out of spruce wood slab. That's going to be the ceiling of the second floor. 
So we're gonna have to do a bit of experimenting. I mean, we're not gonna be able to place anything on this, but we might do some some changes. I don't know, guys. It might work. It might not work. Give me a break. So let's first off actually take a look at how the second floor is going to come together because seeing as I'm trying to make this a miniature house which clearly isn't going to be a miniature house um, I'm gonna, I just want to see how the top floor is going to look before I actually make progress in making the flooring because it's just going to look a bit weird so I'm gonna go for two blocks of oak wood as well um, so let's make this all the way around the building still haven't made it to the back of the building but um, it doesn't matter I'm trying to go room by room Therefore, we don't have excessive space and we know exactly what we're working with. Right, let's try using some brick slab. I mean, I've never actually gone for a design like this one, but I feel like I need to spice things up again. I've already said that, but I need to make some changes and experiment, really. Obviously, we can't have one over here because that's not going to work. So I might just lift it a block. That might work even better. And I'm basically going to go straight away and start adding a little bit of decoration just to make this look a bit nicer. Um, that's a pretty massive tree, but <laughs> it's fine. No, no worries. Let's go for some spruce wood fence right across here. Make it seem a little bit more homely. In fact, I should have gone for spruce wood fence over here as well. So I'm just going to change that as well. Why not? Yeah, there we go. So that's looking relatively decent. I'm still not too sure about the brick slab. I might just change that. Um, might even just go for oak wood slab. Might even look a bit better. Don't you guys think so? Let's add a bit of grass as well. It looks way too dead. Everything looks too plain. And I'm also going to add an anvil right about here just because. So placing windows might be a bit of a problem, seeing as we have the brick slab. But if I actually change this over to brick stairs, that just about might work. Actually, I think that might work a lot better because it makes the, the building actually look a bit taller, seeing as it was kind of short anyway. So yeah, I might even add... Well, I don't know yet. Let me, let me think about this, okay? Usually when I build on my own, I kind of go through 101 different designs and pretty much change everything about. But when I'm doing a let's build, I'm trying my best not to make too many changes because I want you guys to kind of get an idea of what it is I'm doing without having to go back and forth changing things. I'm still not too sure about the brick stairs. I think I might change it to Oakwood. Um, it just doesn't convince me to be honest and this might actually work a bit better makes it look a bit more homely and bricks are kind of hard to get in survival anyway so I think I'm just gonna stick to oak wood. Um, let's see if we can grab some glass let's go for white stained glass and this shape is kind of unique um, I thought I'd leave a bit of it's a shame actually that you can't add a small piece of glass in here that would look really really nice don't you think but um, never mind I think I'll just add a full block of spruce wood there instead Right, so that's about every side of the building complete. I think that looks pretty decent, guys. Um, but still, we need to make a lot of changes. And I think the roof design is what actually is going to make this building come to life. And I was thinking of having a roof section from this side over here, right up to here, and then have a sort of different design on this side, because this is where the bedroom's going to be. Um, I'm not too sure, though. I was thinking... Uh, I'll think about this. So I basically started laying out all the oak wood slab on the second floor and although we're gonna have a bit more difficulty in kind of sorting out the furnishing, but I mean, it's, we, you can still work with it. Like for example, over here you'll be able to add a crafting table and it's, it's still efficient, it still kind of works and maybe even for a bed, um, you can just place it inside the ground as well. Let me just search that up here. So for example, we can still fit a bed just like that and you can still use it it's still functional and it just it looks nice as well it kind of looks like a sleeping bag to be honest so much for building in small proportions right guys but i just forgot that we actually do need to have a fireplace um obviously we're gonna have a kitchen in this segment here we're gonna have to have either a fireplace on this side or a fireplace on the front 
and usually the fireplace will probably look better on this side of the wall um, so we're gonna actually break this off and make some space for a fireplace um, obviously design wise not too sure probably just a basic fireplace design some of that some of this some of that some of this uh, mix and match I think that's about okay the problem is seeing as we have a low roof um, we're gonna have to kind of sort this out I'm not too sure how we're gonna go about doing this I mean the main priority is that it's not going to burn down the entire house and do not want this to burn down the entire house so I'm gonna make a three block uh, ooh, what am I doing in fact I should be using some cobblestone stairs guys cobblestone stairs makes your fireplace look a bit more creative a little bit a little bit more unique you add some design to the fireplace look at this see that just looks so much better um, I don't like how the fence is actually joining up with this so I'm gonna break this off and what I'll do is I'll just simply extend this and join it up with this bit and therefore we can have a kind of open garden anyway so that's about okay so just basically touching up on the fireplace I know it looks kind of weird right now but as soon as we have the roof kind of cutting across here I think it should be okay I'm just not too sure though about about the, f the fire burning the entire house down um, that's something I'm a little bit concerned about but um, I'm sure it'll work out eventually so I'm going to make the roof out of spruce wood and just so you guys get an idea of what I was planning on doing I was planning on actually raising this all the way up until it meets the entrance and I know this sounds kind of crazy and it is kind of crazy believe me but it's kind of like a modern design because we'll have this cut all the way across up to here right about there that's as tall as it's going to be and we'll have the other section right just start off right about here so let's kind of extend this outwards make sure it's on the same kind of level um, I think this will have to extend a bit further outwards or we can just have a small roof section on this bit right here but let's just bring this up from here for now let's just see how this turns out because this might not even work out it to begin with so I don't think my idea is working out as I planned it to be um, because I just wanted to have like a sort of flat surface on this side and have this roof join up to the flat surface so we can have kind of like windows on the side here but the roof is just oh, I, oh, I don't know I don't know what to do okay I'm gonna try one more thing I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna try with some slab see where about whereabouts it kind of ends um, I'm trying to come up with a kind of unique roof design um, something that's not really been seen before which is kind of difficult to to come across but um, I'm gonna try it anyway see how it turns out and if not I'll just you know take it off and start again like literally the only way for me to explain what I'm doing is to, for you guys to just get into my brain and see my imagination because it's running a bit wild right now um, but the idea is to have a flat surface right about here so I'll just have I mean I'm probably gonna take this off guys I'm I'm not gonna like the look of this or maybe I might do I, I might like it I don't know I'm just gonna try it out and if not I'll just remove it but I thought I'd have like a roof section and then have it cut have some windows across the side and a balcony but it's not really is it working is it not working oh yeah yeah it just had to be something complicated small building he said small building yeah right I'm building a massive building and now we have a problem because the staircase oh it fits perfect actually I thought we were gonna have a problem with the staircase but we have just enough space to get through that's perfect that is beautiful I love it when that happens uh, okay that's not going to work is it why did I have to go for something so complicated why Right, I'm just going to raise the slab an extra block and that's it. That's going to sort the problem out. And I could even add some extra detail by replacing this bit because obviously we do have a pillar over here. So, um, actually, not replacing it, sorry. Excuse me. We're actually going to do this instead. Therefore, let me just get a pillar. Damn it. That way we can have a bit of extra detail. I'm not too sure how that's going to turn out in the end. 
Um, I think it looks quite decent. We'll have maybe some extras going around down here as well. No, 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 no. I'm not actually feeling that. I'm sorry. I'll find a way to sort this out somehow. Building a roof, building a roof, building the roof, which is really strange. Really, really strange. Guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video here as part one. You guys are going to comment below how do you think this is going to go about. Um, I think I might just change the roof completely because it's a bit crazy. It's just too, too crazy. I like the shape of it. It's a bit more modern and I have an idea for how it's all going to come together. But I think it's going to be a bit too much. It's going to be too much, guys. So um, let me know in the comments below what you think of this house so far. And I will see you next time. This is Jeremy over. And out.